In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can make your cursor, the one I'm showing right now, where I'm using the normal Roblox cursor right now, I'm going to turn that into this dot. Or you could also transform it into something like this subscribe button right here. And by the way, it's functional. So when I go to press something, it will also transform into something that like to show that, hey, you can click this. How do you do it? Well, let me show you. Just a further note, this will not work on games that have custom font, like custom cursors. So there are actually quite a few games which may have custom cursors. Like for example, Steep Steps isn't having when I ha when I am not holding anything, but when I am holding, let's say this, it has a custom cursor and that's completely fine. This will affect like the, the cursor that you put. It doesn't have any problem with like most Roblox games though. It's very few games that actually have that custom cursor with their game. Can't really do much about it anyways, but yeah. So let's begin. So to change your mouse texture or to just make it your own texture, what you want to do first is you want to head to block strap menu. Do that once you've downloaded the block strap, you can then go to and just search it. So you can just search block strap menu and it'll show up like that. Once you open it, you want to then head to mods. And this is where you can make like your Roblox pretty much be customized fully to your own taste. You want to make sure that you have mouse cursor set to default. That's how you can set your own custom textures to it. And there's so much stuff you can do here, but for this, like for the time being, we're, we're only going to change the texture of the mouse. You want to click on the open mods folder right here. That's where you can place the mouse textures. You're going to then head to content textures and you'll have cursors right there now uh, you will see this thing here the mouse locked cursor this doesn't work anymore like roblox has changed how shift lock works in some games it works in some games but on others it's really weird but i like having one right here and the main mouse is over here now to explain it to you how it works basically this is a 64 by 64 image if i open it with paint.net you will be able to see what i mean it is a 64 by 64 image and basically your mouse pointer is in the middle like that so your mouse the where it will click is at the middle of the image and this is a custom like dot mouse that i made personally for myself and i really like it but let's say you want to make your own custom one so you want to get like an image and then you want to just like like make sure it's the, like the it can be transparent like this that's what the other the background is it's transparent and let's say you want to like make your own like mouse cursor all you would really have to do is just either paste an image and then resize it to to this 64 by 64 like image size and then that would be it that's that's just you like what i had to do for this test i'm gonna change my dot to green and then i'll show you guys that in game but before that i need to explain something pretty important just like that and then i can save that and that would have changed the image as you can see there and the important part is you want to make sure that the arrow far cursor is basically the cursor that you have when you're not hovering over a button so that's your normal cursor like the one like the white cursor i have right now and the arrow cursor is the one when you have your mouse over a button to show that oh you can click on this and make sure that you rename them exactly the same with all the capitals, no spaces, arrow far cursor, and arrow cursor. That's literally it. That's all you have to do. So you can put whatever you want on this. It's a pretty small space, 64 by 64. But you like again, it's a mouse, so it's really small on your screen anyways. And now you don't have to do anything. You can just save this. Or you have to, you don't actually have to save it anyway. It's the file itself that you modified, and that doesn't matter. Now, I can just go ahead and 
search lock strap i can play roblox that will launch roblox oh well let me wait for it to update as you can see it applies the arrow cursor image that, that i made and and when i'm not clicking on something it shows the normal arrow far cursor and you can go haywire with this this can help you in let's say pvp games it maybe just want to make your own cursor and that's completely fine as well do what you want to do and yeah that's about it for this tutorial i hope you guys enjoyed this video and leave a like and comment if you want to see more videos like this in the future so i'll see you guys in the next one bye